We think about Egypt, we dream about Egypt. Egypt is farmed in our souls. What is it about the geography of the inner life that the great images of Egypt, the great eye of Horus, the pharaonic masks, Anubis, this particular Anubis is 4,000 years old, the end of the old kingdom, the beginning of the new kingdom. What is it about these images that is there in the Western imagination? It's because Egypt is the call of the eternal. Essential Egypt still exists in us. How does it happen that an Aboriginal culture on the banks of the Nile within such a few hundred years can create an incredible theology, an extraordinary hieroglyphics, the pyramids, the sphinxes, the immense complexity of the Egyptian mind? How did it happen? How can it happen for us today? So when I take my friends and colleagues and students to Egypt, they come alive. They wake up to patterns and potentials they've forgotten they had. There's something that Egypt that says, go wherever you may, think whatever you think, you will never get away from me. I am part of your psyche. And I think that's why we all have such extraordinary times. I lecture in fairly interesting ways about Isis and Osiris and about the great gods of Egypt and about the ways in which the Egyptians took on in their body and mind the netters, the great archetypal principles, and thus were able to build with the hands of Kanum, to love with the heart of Hathor, to understand with the soul of Isis. Oh yes, our Egyptian tours are tremendous. From time to time, we will be having special rituals and even initiatory ceremonies in which a transmission from whatever is very sacred here is made. Because I've been to Egypt and know some of the great tour operators of Egypt, we get the temples to ourselves instead of the 15,000 other people. We go to the Cairo Museum by ourselves. You'll spend days on a super luxurious cruise ship on the Nile, passing by the great temples, passing the Falahin, the people of the land, looking very much the way they did 5,000 years ago. As they continue to fish and farm the once and future land that is Egypt. Come to Egypt, we'll have a wonderful time.